is and Pile Plus in 12 different colors. Is there any bigger difference between them or the mechanical properties and layer adhesion is similar? Let's find out. Welcome back. In this video, I want to investigate if the color pigments have the effect to the strength or specifications of the material. And the CSC Kitchen did something similar a few years ago, but he did with some German filament. And I wanted to repeat this with the most popular filaments on the market. And I started a poll on my YouTube channel. And uh, three days later, when I checked the status, it was the e -San as the most popular filament. And I contacted the company and they sent me 10 different uh, filaments. A week later, the status changed and the polymaker took over the lead, but it was too late. Maybe in the future I will repeat this with the polymaker's filaments too. So Isan sent me 10 PLA Plus filaments in different colors and two I bought myself. One of them is the red as one of the most popular color and the other is the gold one because uh, usually with this color uh, companies add some kind of silk pigments and with this the layer adhesion will be weaker. Many companies even place this gold color in a separate category, silk category or something like that. But here it is also included as a PLA plus. And I was curious if it will have similar mechanical properties like other colors. Shortly about Eastern PLA plus filament, it is easy to print environment friendly material with improved strength, rigidity and toughness. This means it is resistant to impacts compared to the regular PLA. So probably I will include the impact test too in this comparison. Approved by FDA. Weird, this means each color have this approval. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. What will I test? Well, basic things like the layer adhesion, tensile strength, resistance to the bending and impact. And I want to write some scientific articles so we have a bigger number of the test objects. But of course, this testing is not enough, so I will repeat this properly in the future with some other brands. And then I will have enough data to write some scientific article too. All printings I will do on BabelLab A1 in the printer and I want to use the same G-code, probably the print temperature will be 220 degrees Celsius. I will use the generic PLA profile for each printing. I will do just one unboxing in this video. Hmm. This is quite older filament because I know they use the carbon spools now. I will just open another one. It looks like I have to include this data too because I know that these filaments are older compared to this one but I can work only with what I have but at least each of them will be open before the printing. I check each of them and only two filaments are on these plastic spools. That's the white one and this pink. All others are on the cardboard spools. On the screen you can see the list of tested colors from the lightest to the darkest. This is the information which is written on the box too, in case you want to buy exactly the same filament. And during the testing, I want to keep this order too. Let me show you my test objects. These three are for the tensile test. Four by four millimeters is the smallest cross-section area. And these have the same dimensions, but they are printed in vertical position for the layer adhesion test. Then this one is for the bending test. And for the impact test, I have three, but these will be used in the article I mentioned earlier. And for this video, I will use this one, which is wider, six millimeter thick instead of four. And with this, I am hoping that the measure difference between these colors will be even bigger. I'm starting with cool white color. This is the end of that printing. And storage organizing is very important because we have a lot of test objects. The yellow one gold but it doesn't look like uh, gold from other materials this is still gold from other brand this is more like some kind of goldish color orange pink red magenta peak green very peri i never heard about this color earlier Blue, but I don't have the footage of the printing. Gray. And the last one is black. The last group is finished too. Here I have two colors and in the last one, this means the test objects from 12 different colors are ready for mechanical testing. I'm starting with test side test and this will be the order of the testing and these are printed in horizontal position. Before the testing, which one is your favorite color? This two. Ah, okay. <laughs> the equipment is prepared and I can start with the testing. Okay, you can start. 
not bad. So the equipment is good, even my youngest daughter can do it. As a researcher I really like to play with the numbers, so these are the average values and this is the total average and this is a standard deviation, really small, so this means this is very constant. And if we take a look on this graph we can see this, these three points from three measurings and the only reason where we can see some peaks is when those measured points are closer to each other. So if I would have a bigger number of the test objects and the spread would be equal, this curve would be even more constant. So my first conclusion is that the color has very minimal effect to the test size strength. And for the layer adhesion I have four test objects and this is the average value and the standard deviation is even smaller. And again we can see some peaks here and there but uh, only when those points are really close to each other. Maybe with the black and white we can see some bigger spread and these are the lowest values too. But anyway again very minimal effect to the layer adhesion by the color. And I'm keeping the same testing order and reminder these are thicker test objects 6mm and not 4. From these 4mm test objects I have 3 from each color but they will be used only in that article and they will be measured on this digital testing machine when it will be assembled. But with these stronger test objects if there is any bigger difference between them I hope it will be measurable with this machine which is too strong for 4mm thick objects. Let's record the zero position. 145 degree angle. Now as a researcher I don't really like these numbers. If I calculate the difference from the zero position which is 145 degree angle and actually I can calculate the breaking energy, we can see there is a quite big inaccuracy here because this is very brittle material and uh, too weak for this machine. If my student would give me this kind of result and I would tell him to repeat the experiment on some other machine, that's why I have to finish assembling of my digital impact tester where I will have much better accuracy and for that article actually I have those uh, three test objects and I will repeat the test there. And now three point bending test but simpler one, the load will be 5 kilograms. The distance between supports is 64 millimeters. And I will place the load and I will measure the deformation after 15 seconds. I am placing the load now. This few seconds is a speed up footage. I decided to wait 30 seconds because until that the deformation stabilized.
and the most constant results I got with this uh, bending test. This is a deformation in millimeters. I even calculated the flexor modulus, but for easy understanding, on a graph you can see the deformation in millimeters. Uh, pay attention, this is approximately 1% of the standard deviation, so very constant values, and definitely the color has extremely minimal effect to this deformation. This was much bigger work than it looks like, especially the video editing. And the results are boring. I mean, for this ESAM PLA Plus, there is no measurable difference between the colors and their mechanical properties. And in most cases, this is a situation. There are some exceptions, for example, with Bembele polycarbonate, there I could experience some bigger difference between the colors, but in most cases, this is a situation. And I'm not even sure if I want to repeat this. Should I do these testings with the polymaker filaments too? And not only because they became a channel sponsor now in the meantime, but uh, actually they are the winner from that poll I started on my YouTube channel. But we the use number of the colors, maybe white, black, gray, I don't know, red, or choose some colors. So what is your experience about this topic? Write me a few lines down in the comment section. And thank you for watching this video and happy printing.